And after we define the vertex and edge types, now um, we want to load data into it. And the, 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 in order to load data, um, uh, it's essentially a mapping problem. We need to define a set of mapping from source files and to the central graph schema, schema we just defined. Our GCQ language has a powerful loading language to assist the user to accomplish this goal. And uh, there are two steps in order to lo load data into TagGraph. The first step is to define a loading job. And this job need a name and uh, also it need a target graph. So I, I, I give the name of the loading job load social and I target the graph social. And uh, there are basically two, two uh, components or statements in this loading job syntax. So I first uh, need to define a set of file name variables. Each file name variables essentially represents a source data schema. We can change the source file at runtime as far as the schema is not changed. And here I define a file name uh, variable of file one and it's associated with the schema that uh, in person.csv. And also I define a file name variable file two and it associates the schema with friendship.csv. And uh, person.csv has, um, I can quickly show it. Yeah, person.csv has name, gender, age, state, four columns, and I have seven uh, rows to, to represent seven people. And uh, friendship.csv has three columns. And the first column is person one, the second column person two, and the third column is the date they become friends. Now the second part of the loading scriptment, uh, a script is a set of loading statement. So line 20 and 23 are two loading statements. And the syntax for the loading, uh, file, uh, loading statement is we load the file name variable to a, a target vertex or edge type. And uh, you just say load the file name variable to uh, either vertex or edge and the vertex or edge type name and the values class define the mappings. So the value class contains the target, has the same length as the target uh, object uh, schema and then it specifies the source uh, file uh, column reference. So there are two ways to reference the source file uh, schema and the first one is reference by name. So you can use the column name from the source file one. The second one is uh, reference by position. So you can use uh, uh, zero represents the first column and one rep dollar one represents the second column. So in this particular example, I illustrate uh, both reference type. So in the first loading statements, I say uh, map file one uh, column name and to uh, the primary ID field of the person vertex type. And map file one's column name and uh, name to the uh, name attributes of the person vertex type and map the file one's column age to the age column in the person type and so on. And here I, I use the using clause to specify the heterogeneity configuration for the file one. So I say header equals to true and it means the first line of file one is metadata and it contains the header line and we should not load that line. So basically is let the loader skip this uh, first, first line. And separator equals to comma, it means it's a CSV file. And when we tokenize the, uh, the file line by line, uh, we look at this uh, comma as a delimiter. And similarly for file two, I also say header equals to true. So I tell the loader to skip the first line and I tell the loader to use the comma as the token, tokenizer delimiter. And I map column zero to the from class column one to the two, uh, two field and the column two to the connect by uh, uh, attributes. And this can be uh, going from uh, two loading statements to uh, uh, hundreds loading statements. So it's essentially uh, integration loading language and it's very powerful. 
after they define this loading language, you can run the loading job and you just uh, uh, use the syntax run loading job and loading job name and then it will kick off the loading. 